Hey everyone, thanks for watching. This is Niall Lynn in New York City, and I have an unboxing for you guys today. I finally did it. I finally got the Hunter Rain Boots. I actually really need them. They're not just for fashion. My old boots are just done, and I walk dogs as my day job in New York City. So I'm out in the rain a lot, walking dogs. I need proper rain gear, and so I finally got the Hunter Rain Boots, and I'm going to unbox them for you today. So uh, they're expensive boots. They they are from Britain and um, they were invented in 1856 um, by, I think, Americans um, in Scotland. <laughs> so it's a little confusing. Um, I can, here's the box. It comes with this nice red handle. I got them on a Black Friday sale. My birthday is right around Thanksgiving. And so I was able to um, get them not only on a Black Friday sale, sale but with birthday money so basically they're a gift for my mom <laughs> and she would be very happy that I was um wearing something that kept my feet warm and my father was British and he's passed on and he would be happy too so um they are a progressive British heritage brand um and I'm going to read this off the re website renowned for its iconic original boot and it holds two royal warrants of appointment by Her Majesty the Queen, as in Queen Elizabeth, who passed recently this year, very sadly, um, for, for me and my family, because we have uh, British heritage in my family. And the HRH, um, His Royal Highness of the Duke of Edinburgh, um, and the brand has a rich history of innovation and continues to design to protect from the elements and perform on a variety of landscapes. So, yeah, um, 1856. I mean, that's a long time. That's been around a long time. Wow. All right, so here they are. Woo! There's the box. That's what it looks like. It has this beautiful red interior. And it has another little write-up. I won't read it to you since I already read you enough. And yes, I'm wearing gloves. I figured since it was sort of like, you know, a little, uh, um, not, they're new, so they're not vintage, but they've been around for a long time. So I guess they're, in a way, they're kind of retro. So I just, I felt like putting on gloves. <laughs> you know. Um, okay. So, here we go. Opening up the packaging. Just pulling away the two, the, the tissue paper so you can see what they look like in the box. And now I will pull them out. So I um, got a seven. I'm normally a six and a half and I am a true six and a half. Let me take one of these out so it's not crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. But. I know that I'm going to wear the comfy socks with them and that a little more space on a boot when you're walking a lot is preferable than being, you know, pinching tight. I like to, all, usually, most all of my heels are six and a half. Every once in a while I'll get a six um, in a heel. Yeah. It's very rare that I go up in a heel because your, you know, your your foot is going down into them and like you need it to stay on. But because the size of this boot and the fact that it goes all the way up to the calf, I know that I can do a seven. So let's keep unboxing. So they have this, um, the hardware is silver, which I love because I love silver hardware. I'm totally a silver girl. Um, I usually like daily wear a Rebecca Minkoff, like casual, um, crossbody bag. I'll do, I'll do another video on my Rebecca Minkoff bags. And when I do, I'll, I'll link them below. I only have two, um, but it's going to go nicely with this. And then there's the Hunter logo right there. And then there's the bottom and, um, the back is not adjustable per se, but that's plenty of room, even for me who I have really big calves. That's the inside. There are the HRH approval stamps. And then you can put your name in there, 
which I don't know if I'll do because I'm going to wear these as much as possible and probably when they're, you know, when I'm ready to get a new pair, I'll sell them on like Poshmark or something like that. So that's the first one. Here's the second one. Same boot. Just want to do a proper unboxing to show you all the things. I'm going to keep the box um, for now to make sure I love them. And then I got the socks to go with it. So I'm going to unbox this too for you so it can show you how this works. Um, put that down there. These are the socks that fold over and then they have the Hunter logo on them. I didn't get them because they fold over and have the Hunter logo. I don't actually care about the Hunter logo. I want something really good quality because I'm a dog walker and I walk 10K steps a day without even thinking about it. And a lot of days, 20K steps a day. And when I'm in the rain, I have like full rain gear on and I need to like have sturdy boots that you could go hiking in the English countryside with. <laughs> And I need to be warm. And I didn't have any socks that I thought would fold over these boots. And um, it's November and winter is coming. So here we go. These are, that was the box. I just pulled them out. Okay. Here they are. Interesting, right? <laughs> they look like little donuts. Okay. So this, let's see how this works. This must be the top. Oh, I guess it unrolls. Okay, it's unrolling. It unrolls. Okay. Oh my gosh, these are gonna be so warm and cozy and I'm glad I got the seven. See, this is, I knew I wanted these and I wanna be able to wear several layers of socks if I get really cold. And the, the key to staying warm in New York City in the winter or any climate, I think, is to keep your feet and your head warm. Um, when my feet are warm, and my head is warm and my hands, I don't get cold. So this is what it looks like. It's like a little booty. And then I guess you put that in the rain boot to make it, oh, I think it's inside out. Yeah, it's inside out. So this, I guess, was the other way because you want to be able to fold it so this covers that. Or you could, if you just want to go incognito, I don't know if people know these boots in the United States um, as well as they do in England, you know, but if you wanted to go like incognito, you could fold it the other way and hide the name brand if you're, you know, in a sketchy neighborhood or traveling and don't want people to know you have fancy boots. Oh, I got them for under $100. They were $99.95 on Amazon Black Friday. And they're usually much more expensive than that. Um, you can look it up online. So yeah, let me see if I can. I don't know. It, you know, the, the, the price changes. That was the lowest I've ever seen them. So it might sound really expensive for rain boots, but I'm going to wear them a lot for all the days that it rains. And from what I understand, um, you know, because they are fashionable, even though they're not the prettiest thing, they're just sort of like cool, hip, fashionable, maybe not hip, but you know, they're, they're a little, little, um, what, what, where am I looking for you, you guys? You could wear them on a, like a, with a sundress on a rainy day and make them look cute, even though they're a big, crazy rain boot kind of like combat boots how you can like dress up combat boots so here we go here's the one with the sock and here is the one without the sock so that's the difference so you know if it's too hot I won't wear the hunter sock but I wanted to be able to have that and I'll probably still wear my own socks in the hunter sock so that I don't get this one too sweaty or stinky, but you can take it out and wash it. And that I think also helps you not get like, you know, swamp boot. <laughs> if you have a couple layers and, you know, if I, I can sweat into my little thin sock and then this will stay warm and dry and cozy. So it's like having a lining for your coat, but in your boot, you know, so it's a boot lining that you can take out and wash. So 
hopefully you enjoyed that unboxing. The socks were 29, so all together it was like 130 bucks plus tax or whatever. And um, I have Amazon Prime and it was Black Friday and it was a birthday gift from my mom. So score for me. That's the way to get your Hunter Boots, right? Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you tuning in. This is Niall Lynn in New York City and I will try to do um, some pictures when I style them on my Instagram is at Niall Lynn and my TikTok is at Niall Lynn. Um, I do videos of course on TikTok and posts on Instagram. Not all of them are related to my YouTube channel. Some of it's just personal stuff and fun stuff, but look for there. And eventually if I do a picture of myself in the boots out in New York City, I will post it on my Instagram and then I'll link it below. Okay, please subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. This is Niall Lynn in New York City.